what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So the pre-judging for the Flex Pro Weekend in Italy just wrapped up. With a very clear top two, I think this is what most of us expected the top two to be going into the show, and that is Beirouz and Nathan Diasha. I think it's going to be a very close decision, too, based on how many times they compared these guys. Um, they did two call-outs of six guys. They brought all six guys out twice, ran them through all the poses several times, comparing Nathan and Beirouz in the center both times. I think likely Emir Omarajic will be in that third place spot. But then they confirmed it at the very end of prejudging, a call out of just Nathan and Beirouz, and they ran them through all the poses twice. So this is an interesting one because Nathan does look better, certainly sharper, then he looked in his update pictures a few days ago, and I'm sure that can be attributed to his coach, Stefan, boss of Outlaw. But Beirut's Tabani is absolutely peeled here. So there's a couple key differences between Nathan and Beirut, and that's why I feel this is going to be close, because if you're just going on conditioning, I think Beirut takes it. I think there's no question that Beirut is tighter than Nathan. But if you look at certain body parts, like it's pretty clear that Nathan's legs, specifically his quads, are better than Beirut's. And this is something that I've mentioned about Beirut's for a while, is his upper body is absolutely incredible, but his legs don't quite match. And I think you can really see that when you compare Nathan and Beirut's. Nathan's quads, I think, are substantially bigger. If you look at like the teardrop, for example, substantially just bigger and fuller from the front than Beirut's. And I think it's very noticeable when you compare the two of them. Now, with that being said, upper body, I prefer Beirut's. You know, Nathan has that bicep injury, and you can kind of see it. and It's pretty noticeable in the front double bicep. Beirut's upper body is just tremendous. Great flow, great V taper. The size is comparable. I'd say Nathan is just fuller. But if you're looking at conditioning, like I said, I think Beirut's takes it. If you look at the lower body from the side, from the back, the separation in the hamstrings, the striations in the glutes, the detail in the back, the deep striations in the chest when he hits the, the side chest, I think detail all around, more detailed than Nathan without question. But honestly, I do kind of wonder how big of a factor the legs are going to be because it's not like Beirut's legs are terrible. He's got decent he's got decent legs. His upper body is just clearly much stronger. And like I said, I think next to Nathan, you can really kind of see that disparity with the lower body, but he's so polished, he's so conditioned, he's so detailed, he's got such a nice flow to his physique. At this point, I'm still leaning towards Beirut's, but I do wonder if the lower body is going to be an issue here because I do think especially from the front, it's noticeable but then when they turn around from the back and when you look at them from the sides, I feel like Beirut's, the, the amount of detail that he has in his lower body, like I said, the separation in the hamstrings, the striated glutes, I feel like from the sides and the back, you could argue that his legs look better than Nathan's. But from the front, like in, in a pose like the abs and thighs, this, the difference in the quads is pretty noticeable. But then, like I said, you look at Nathan and oppose like the front double bicep. I think that bicep injury is noticeable. I think Nathan's flow isn't as pleasing as Beirut's. He's got kind of that weird, elongated midsection. Honestly, I'm leaning towards Beirut's on this one. I think he looks incredible here. Nathan looks really good too. I think surprisingly good compared to how his updates look. But then again, this lighting is really one of the worst lit shows I think I've seen in a while. Super oversaturated. The guys are like really washed out. The white balance is off. Like, I think the way this show is lit really takes away from the detail of these guys, and I think that part is unfortunate. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Nathan or Beirut's? Like I said, right now, I'm leaning towards Beirut's. But make sure you let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and I'll see you guys for the finals video. And as always, I love you guys. appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at NickStrengthPower.
my Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power, my secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel, and consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel, so if you're into that, give that one a look, and all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below if you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.